Assalamu alaikum YouTubers Welcome back to SLK Tours Here in this section We will be talking about Points importing in AutoCAD Civil 3D And this is quite simple and straightforward Of course I will use AutoCAD 215 For better understanding Let's have a quick jump into AutoCAD Civil 3D Here this one Alright that's ok Just look First of all, I just need my points file. Of course, I have written these guys in form of point, easting nothing, z in descriptions. And this will be my points format, right? P just represent point number, e for easting, n for nothing, z for elevation, and of course, d for descriptions. First, I just want to change this guy to a file format which can AutoCAD support, right? AutoCAD uh, can support different formats like CSV and text file as well and something such. Let me just convert this guy into CSV first, right? From file, I'll just click save as. I just want to save this guy in my desktop. And let me call this guy as Quago Fonts R E G existing ground right and my file type will be just let me uh, just specify this one CSV comma delimited and of course uh, you have uh, different types of CSV this time I'll select this one and I'll click save okay yep now I'll just click this guy I don't want to save this file anymore let me check my file again over here. This one, Quago points for EG. I'll just delete uh, the first row, this one, because AutoCAD Civil 3D will not accept this row, right? So I'll just delete this row. Now this is my point number, easting nothing, Z, and of course descriptions. I'll save this guy again. Save. And I want to just replace this guy. Oh, with this uh, same file, right? Okay, yep. And yep. Now this file is just ready to be imported into AutoCAD Civil 3D. So I'll just come into AutoCAD Civil 3D again over here. Now it's quite simple. Actually, there are many ways to import this file to AutoCAD Civil 3D. This time I'll just show you only one, right? And of course, from the Insert tab, Import panel, just click points from file. Import fonts dialog box will appear. Just click this plus sign button, which means to import or add your file, right? Now I just want to select or click your file, do you want to import, and just click open. And of course, sometime, uh, uh, let me just specify uh, text permit over here, your file uh, will just disappear over here. Because your permit is over here, just different from that file permit, right? So I'll just keep this guy over here as CSV so I can see my file over here. I'll select my file and I click open. Make sure AutoCAD Civil 3D accept this, right? Of course, you can import different more than one or two files, right? At the same point. And you can, of course, delete this guy from, from this uh, dialog box too. Now just specify your font file format and of course my font file format is PENZD comma delimited this one. Right? And this is just a quick preview right over here. Now just look, I just want to add my points to a group. And of course I have already about two groups named as boundary and canal. But I want to just create a new, right? And I'm going to name this guy as Quago Fonts just for EG. EG means existing ground. I'll click this OK. Actually, I don't want elevation adjustment, right? According to my settings. I don't want a coordinate transformation according to my settings. When I'm done, I'll just click OK. The fonts are being imported. We just need zoom extend. For zoom extend, just click. Uh, or press or type Z in command window 
and then press enter or space for extend just type en command bar and press enter or space and here you go these are my quago fonts but the, the thing uh, the labels and the font style are not okay all right i can't just recognize these guys let me just spend a little time in this i'll just uh, select my point and from point properties point group property uh, let me just change this into benchmark and i want to just uh, size this guy is 0.05 right i'll click ok and this time i, I will just uh, specify as nothing is thing. and i just want to uh, uh, decrease the size of text right which is 0.1 inch i'll make this guy as 0.05 and click ok actually next time we'll go in detail about these guys right this time i'm just uh, uh, going a little quickly in this when I'm done, I'll click apply and OK. Now, these are much uh, really good, I think. Uh, let me just change this guy a little bit again from here. And I just want to, uh, the text size or height is 0.005. And I've, I hope this will be OK. Yes, this is, this is really small, but it's OK, no problem, all right? We'll go inshallah in detail about these guys in the next tutorial right so for that just wait and of course remember this is slk see you next time and wassalam